What is up guys, this is Justin, AKA FM Digi. I'm here with episode number 13 of Chandler FC, a rise up the United States pyramid. Um, we've played for two months and had one win to show for it. So that's pretty cool. All right, we are uh, here we're back January 4th. Um, transfer window just opened up. We've got a couple new signings to show you. Um, you see we're in eighth place. Woohoo! We are really dropping points like nobody's business. Uh, show you the where, where we were. The last game you guys saw was against Vardar USA. You can see this awesome run of form we've had here. 2-1 um, win against Hartford at home. We've played better than our record shows. Uh, Albertson, look, we um, we let a uh, you know we were leading and then lost and then tied. Here, you know, it was back and forth, but a bunch of nothing. Here, leading or leading and then tie. You know, here they got two late goals. This is the number one team in the league. They should have beat us. We held them for so long. I'm really proud of the two away fans that showed up. I think it was probably my parents in there, I'm guessing. Um, then against Kendall, another nil-nil draw. Just painful to watch. Luis, Gonz Luis Gomez had a missed penalty kick. I think that was early in the game. Uh, doesn't say there. It was pretty early in the game against Boca. Again, another we lead and lose the lead um, against Boston Bolts. You know, they got ahead of us and we could never catch up. We got the win against Hartford, then Scott Gallagher. Guess what? We lead and then lose the lead. We cannot hold a lead to save our lives. Our defense is just horrible. So today we're going to go against Beachside and Texas Rush. Um, both of them should be wins, but, you know, they'll probably be draws or losses. So We'll see how that goes. Um, also, we've got a couple of whiny players here. Uh, Perez was whining. We weren't playing him enough, so I put him in. Um, Coyman was was complaining. I've got, I think I've got him sorted. Um, but we have had some issues where I've had to move around players. I don't know if that's throwing off the dynamics, um, and that, that thus that's why we've had some dreadful form lately. Um, but you know, everything seems to be good. The leadership support is decent. Um, cohesion, I just don't know. We, we've had just a bad run of form. Um, see one of our new signings right there. I'll bring this up. Uh, let's see. Since we left off, we've brought in these three guys. All of them were um, prearranged transfers. Uh, Andraki, um, going to play forward. I'm doing a lot where I'm building for the future, signing a lot of youth with good potential. So that's exactly what Andraki is going to do. 17 year old um, forward. He's just going to, you know, we're going to see what happens. He cost me basically nothing. So, you know, that's what you're going to see happening here. Um, Dave Matthews, I think, I don't know if it's the whole band or just Dave Matthews, but yeah, I was kind of, you know, I got to sign him. Another um, striker to put up front. He's 17 years old, six foot tall, poacher. He's got some pretty good looking stats. I, I couldn't resist. You know, I paid, I don't know what, uh, grand for him or something, a uh, three grand for him. And then this is the big sign we made. Um, Chris Donalito. Chris Donalito. Yeah, we'll probably change that name at some point. But he's got he's he's my guy for right now. Thirty one years old, uh, potential ability four and a half stars. So I need I need someone to shore up that midfield because we're just not doing it. We've had guys who have helped us out in the past, but they're not good enough to get us over that hump. Um, we have to improve, and for the last two months, all we've done is uh, regress. So he's got some pretty good stats. He's going to come in with Hayter and play in the midfield. Uh, we'll show you the tactics now and where we left off. Uh, let's see. This is the tactic you all are used to. Uh, I did have Gomez was out uh, for a spell, so I tried 
doing some different tactics, uh, played with this one that you see me use before, and then this one where basically replacing the defensive mid with an attacking mid. Um, that's the game we won 2-1, we tried this in, but then, you know, didn't go so well the game after that. So we're going to see a uh, home match. I'm going to be playing our usual. So let's get the in with that, get the lineup set. Uh, let's play, put Lens in here. Oh, no, he's not fit. Let's get Gomez in here. He's he's back. Uh, Hater, Christian Ronaldo. Um, Hamilton's really, really kind of pissed me off lately. You know, he's got his seven goals. He's got the high rating. But if you look in the last few games, you know, he got a red card in this one, um, suspended. Then in this next game, you know, he did okay. Had a goal in the last game. I believe it was off of a free kick, which he's kind of notorious for doing. But, you know, two suspensions already this season. So I'm kind of letting him, you know, sit on the bench and think about what he's done. Um, I forget who else is hurt. Let's go look at the injuries. Gosh, you would think uh, I just looked at it a couple days ago. Um, okay, no one really of importance there to the first team. Let me stumble across here. Uh, Espinoza and Lara. Uh, Lara's been playing like he got a goal in the last game um, pretty well. So I think I'm going to stick with him. He's he's on the He's on the good form. Uh, let's get Perez out of there and bring in Espinoza. Come on. Also had um, an instance, I think Hernandez got a red card not too long ago. Ended up costing us one of those games. <laughs> what are you going to do? Um, and my forward, uh, where is he? Barca's not really been on good form. I put in Gonzalez recently. I actually put Ro Farrell from last season up for a game where Gonzalez and, um, oh my gosh, what's his name? Uh, the one I just talked about. Barca, they were both out. Uh, I forget what I think one of them was out with a yellow card suspension, the other one was out with an injury. So put Ro Farrell in there. He came in with a 6 4, wasn't that good. So I think this is the lineup we're going to go with today. We're going to go with Puckett in the back, Gibson, Arona, Daly, and Garza uh, in front. Gomez, Hayter, Christian Alito. I'm going to butcher that name like something fierce. Um, in the middle, Lara Koyman in the wings and Gonzalez up front. Uh, let's go through these scenes. I mean, we've won three against Beachside. History should show we are the better team. I mean, they're 20th in the league. Ah, let's, let's disappoint. Let me make sure everyone's fit in good form. I think I've been dealing with some injuries, but I just want to ensure that everyone I have is... The best of the best, it looks like it. Okay, let's go play some football. Squad number, who's getting a squad number? Oh yeah, new guy, 66, call him Root 66. All right, let's get it on, let's get it on. Encourage him. Cool. Let's get it going on, shout out demand more to start out with they're going to start with the ball moving right to left and this is to be a proper highlight which I'll take that all day okay demand more we're all still good good you know one thing I've been doing recently um, is trying to update oh it looks like they did already um, kind of updating these things in here for these guys Trying to press where I can. Uh, let's see, what is I tightly marking? Yep. So let's take these three. Whoops. Tightly mark all of them. So he's got some reds. Let's give him, let's mess with him a little bit. Okay. Last game, there was a guy who was kind of injured, and yeah, I may have told him to tackle him harder, and he may have left the game early. Um, yeah, that's straight red. There we go. Straight red. 
Gonzalez with the free kick. Oh, gets it in. See, I'm used to this, though. I'm used to this. We're up, and then we lose it towards the last 20 minutes of the game. Look at that. That was a beautiful. I don't think that went off of anybody. I'll take it. Let's give him some praise. Lara gets it in, kicks it right off the chest of Cologne. Gibson gets it back over to Arona. Gibson kicks it up to nobody. Lara ends up getting it. And <gasps> Koyman with the goal. First goal of the season. He was really complaining hard for some playing time. Wasn't putting in the effort. But, you know, that was a pretty sweet touch there. <laughs> we got lucky there. I don't know, it was a no look pass there to Koyman from Lara. That was that was impressive. Impressive. All right. This is good. This is good. All right, Gonzalez another free kick. Oh my gosh, two free kicks. Two goals off of free kicks in this match from Gonzalez. Uh looks like I don't need Hamilton anymore. He was my free kick master before, but uh yeah, looks like Gonzalez just took your place. Uh, I tell him that's a good job, and Puckett's like, oh, no, no. like, let's go for three. Hattie. <laughs> Called it. Holy cow. I am streaming every single game from now on. This is cool. Definitely cool. So look at that. I think it went through the goalpost, but hey, I'll take it. I'll take it. I'll take it. I'll take it. Okay, fire them up. Let's just take this into half. Everyone looks to be in good form. Man, oh man, that's awesome. That is fantastic. And we're even losing possession, which I don't understand. We have a high possession system here. Um, I have never seen anyone with a hat trick in the first half solely off of free kicks. If you know, Let me know if you guys have ever done that. Comment down below. I'm curious to hear what you guys have to say about that. that was, that's pretty freaking impressive. Passionately say, I am ecstatic. Can I do that? No? Okay. Uh, keep an eye on Arona. He's at eighty-one percent. I don't have Gonzalo. I don't have um, Hamilton in there, who usually can only last about seventy minutes or so. Coyman with a poor first touch. Let's demand more. Okay, pissed off the guys top and bottom. <laughs> Gonzalez is a little upset with his <laughs> this hat trick. Uh, let's praise him. Okay, good. They like that. All right, let's see. Who should we take out? Let's take out Arona. Put in Zuninga. Actually, I'm going to put in Hamwia. He's had he's been training really well lately. I want to, you know, I want to praise him for that. Give him some love for that. So let's do that. Uh, we'll take Gonzalez off as the last one. Okay, Connor getting it in. Oh, every free kick, every free kick has gone in so far. Hey, good news is I don't have to pay a shutout bonus. So, you know, baby steps. This is the small positive. Let's encourage them. Cool, that frustrated them. Okay, let's see who else I need to take out. Gibson not playing the best. Let's switch out Hamwa and then take out Gibson for Zuninga. Um, we'll do that and we'll take out Gonzalez with a few minutes left. But hey, I'll take a 4 nothing win based on how the form's been going. Sarah Gonzalez and put in... Let's put in Espinoza up there. Let him get his uh, hat trick applause. Let's just take this one in. Take this game in. We're going to get one more referee. Let's blow that whistle. Blow the whistle. Blow the whistle. There we go. 4-1 win over Beachside. We needed that big time. Okay, let's tell them how happy I am. Not aggressively. I'm pleased with that result and performance. Well done. Well done for sure. Um, helps us solidify eighth place. We really need to make some headway. I, I really don't see us finishing in the top four. Those teams are just far and above away. Chivas that we had that one loss to. They're kind of doing all right. Kind of doing all right. I mean, they've got us doubled up in points almost. They're killing it in goals scored. Um, 
I can't say I've only got 12. We've got 20. I mean, come on. It's not even fair. Not even fair. Uh, let's see. Good. We needed that. We needed that. Let's give him all the love we can. All right. Uh, hang tight. I'll come back for uh, game number two. Well, now that was cool. There's quite a delay between when I finished filming and right now when I'm making this outro. I recorded episode or um, game two and another outro, and apparently between game one and two, my microphone broke and no audio was on those. So cool, getting a new cord. Anyhow, we lost the second game two to one. Um, probably for the best, we didn't show it. It was kind of bad. The last goal was pretty crap. But anyhow, thank you so very much for watching. Um, new cord coming in tomorrow, so new episodes can happen. Um, please, if you haven't already yet, throw me a subscribe down below. Um, give me a like if you liked it, dislike if you didn't like it, and if you didn't like it, please tell me why, what I can do to do better here. Um, also working on a lot of FM20 stuff, so I'm going to make some cool database stuff happening soon. I'll let you guys know more about it uh, soon. Keep an eye on my Twitter, linked below. Thank you much.